Bonjour mes amis. Welcome to my channel, The French Station, the right stop for learning French. My name is Vignesh, your teacher and friend. I'm very thrilled to help you on your French learning journey and to make the language fun and easy for you. In this video, let's discuss the third lesson from the newest edition of the book, Apprenons le Français. Part 0. We will make a note of the vocabulary, the new words and expressions in this word document and the link for this document is in the description below. In the previous uh, videos, we completed the second chapter. We went through the numbers from 0 to 20, the rhyme, the vocabulary and all the exercises from the second lesson. Now let's discuss the third lesson. Leçon 3. Lesson 3. Lesson 3. The name of the lesson is Visitons l'école élémentaire Jules Ferry. So, Visitons is nothing but let us visit. It's very similar to the English word visit, but, but it means let us visit. So, the name of the lesson is let us visit the uh, uh, let us visit the elementary school. The name of this elementary school is Jules Ferry. Um, the word l'école is nothing but um, the school. So, visiton is let, let us visit and l'école is the school. So, école élémentaire is nothing but element, elementary school. Um, over here, we have um, the subheading. We have ce Présente. So, présente is nothing but to introduce oneself or to present oneself. So, in this lesson, we will also be learning um, how to talk about ourselves in simple sentences. How to say my name is, how to say uh, I live in so and so place or how to say I am so and so years old. So, we, we will be learning simple sentences on how to introduce or present ourselves. Mm. So, friends, let us visit a school in Paris. The name of the elementary school is Jules Ferry and it is situated in the locality uh, Saint Georges. Um, in French, we can say Saint Georges. So, it is uh, uh, located in this uh, neighborhood by name Saint Georges in the 9e arrondissement, in the 9th uh, arrondissement, the 9th neighborhood. Um, so, uh, actually, th this is a new word, arrondissement, is nothing but, uh, in English, you can uh, roughly translate it as um, locality or uh, neighborhood. So, it, it means neighborhood or it, it, could, it could also mean locality. Um, so, Paris, uh, the city Paris is divided into uh, different neighborhoods, around 20 or around 20 neighborhoods. And each neighborhood is called as arrondissement. And 9e, that's how we pronounce it. Uh, 9e is nothing but 9th. So, so the school is uh, located in the 9th neighborhood or the 9th arrondissement. Um, so over here, we, we, we see Didu. Didu talks about himself. He says, Bonjour, good morning. Je m'appelle. Didu. So, this is how we say our name in French. You can say je m'appelle and simply write your name. So, that means my name is. So, Didu introduces himself. He says je m'appelle Didu. My name is Didu and he says j'ai deux ans. I am two years old. So, what we do in English is we say I am 12 years old, I am 20 years old or I am 2 years old. But in French, we say J, J apostrophe AI uh, and then we, we can write any number, uh, any number uh, to talk about your age and then we use the word ANS. So what, what it literally means is I have so and so years. That's how we say it in French. We, we say je. So, for example, if you want to say I am uh, 12 years old, you can say je douze ans. Uh, if you want to say I am 14 years old, um, you need to say um, uh, je 
14 ans. So this J apostrophe AI, uh, literally it means I have, uh, but in English we don't say uh, uh, I have 14 years or I have 15 years. We say I am 14 years old, I am 15 years old, etc. Then Vidu also says Jabit a pari. Jabit is nothing but I live. So Didu says I live in Paris. So these are the new words. Jabit is nothing but I live. And uh, when you say Jabit a pari, it means I live in Paris. Then let's read ahead. Didu also says Jean frère. I have a brother. You know that UN is nothing but uh, one. Uh, so when you when uh, when you say je en frère, it means I have a brother. And j apostrophe ai means I have. Um, let's move ahead. Parlons à ce garçon. Let us talk to this boy. So Bidu asks this boy, comment tu t'appelles? What is your name? Comment tu t'appelles? Uh, we learned it in the previous chapter that it means, what is your name in formal? And Didu also asks him, quel âge a-t-you? So the question, quel âge a-t-you? Quel âge a-t-you means, how old are you? Or what is your age? And it is um, informal. We, we can see a-t-you uh, in this question, right? So it is informal. Uh, then Didu also asks him, who abit you? So, who abit you is nothing but where do you live? So, these are the questions that um, uh, Didu asks him. What is your name? What is your uh, age or how old are you? And where do you live? So the, the other person replies, Je m'appelle Pedro. My name is Pedro. J'ai 8 ans. I am 8 years old. J'habite Paris. I live in Paris. Let's move ahead. Next, we see that Didu is talking to um, a, a professor or, you know, uh, someone who's uh, elder to him. So, so it's a formal situation. And so Didu uses the, um, uses words like monsieur and instead of uh, thieu, the word vu is used. Let's uh, go through this. A mm, vu monsieur. So a vu is nothing but uh, and you. So Didu says, and you, monsieur, and you, sir, comment vous appelez-vous? How, uh, what, what is your name or how do you call yourself? Then Didu also asks, quel âge avez-vous? Quel âge avez-vous is, how old are you? Uh, but this is not informal, this is formal. Uh, and then Didu also asks, où habitez-vous? Où habitez-vous is nothing but, uh, where do you live? Mm, uh, and this is uh, formal. So, uabit tu is also uh, where do you live, but this is informal. Whereas, when you say uabite uh, vu, uh, it means where do you live and it is uh, formal. So, let's see what this person replies. He says, je m'appelle Henry. My name is Henry. Okay. J'ai 21 ans. I am 21 years old. Jabit a Toulouse. I live in Toulouse, is what this person says. Then Didu talks about uh, a boy. Uh, so he says, Il s'appelle Eric. So when you say, um, uh, when you say, Je m'appelle, it means my name is. But when you say, Il s'appelle Eric, it means his name is Eric. So Il s'appelle is his name is. Then Il a 9 ans. He is 9 years old. Il habite au quartier de Pigal à Paris. He lives in a neighborhood by name Pigal, which is in Paris. So the word quartier um, uh, also means uh, neighborhood or you can say uh, area or locality. So um, he lives in this neighborhood. Then Didu talks about this girl. A L L Sapel Sophie. So when you say a L, it means and uh, she. Uh, and L Sapel means her name is. So Didu says um, and 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 she. Her name is Sophie. 
and then uh, Didu also says, Ela Setan, she is seven years old. Ela Bid, Rio de Martyr, she lives um, in a street by name, Rio de Martyr. So these are some of the words and uh, sentences or questions that you need to remember. Let's move ahead. Écoutons et lisons. Let's listen and let's read. There's a rhyme. Uh, uh, the rhyme is about les salutations, which is greetings. So it's given. Je dis bonjour dès mon réveil chaque jour. Um, I say hello as soon as I wake up every day. Je dis bonsoir lorsque le soir vient. I say good evening when the when, when it is evening. And then je dis s'il vous plaît. Uh, s'il vous plaît is a new greeting. S'il vous plaît means uh, uh, please and it is uh, formal. In informal we say s'il te plaît. But s'il vous plaît means uh, please and it is uh, used in formal situations. So I say please pour uh, obtenir ce que je veux. For, for uh, obtaining or for getting what I want, I say please. Je dis merci pour exprimer ma gratitude. I say thank you to express my gratitude. Je dis pardon quand je fais une erreur. I say sorry when I make a mistake. Je dis excusez-moi pour demander une faveur. I say excuse me to ask for a favor. Je dis enchanté. Um, I say it is nice to meet you. Quand je rencontre quelqu'un de nouveau, when I meet someone new, je dis au revoir pour dire adieu. I say goodbye to bid farewell. So these are all different greetings that you can use in different situations like bonjour, uh, when you meet someone to say hello or good morning, bonsoir to say good evening, s'il vous plaît to say please, merci, uh, which is thanks or thank you. Pardon is pardon or sorry. Excusez-moi is excuse me. Enchanté is nice to meet you. And au revoir is goodbye. Um, with this, we complete the rhyme and the dialogues from the third lesson. In the next video, let's go through the grammar topics and the vocabulary from the third lesson. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please subscribe to my channel, The French Station, to get notified on the upcoming videos. Like it and share it with your friends as well. Until then, a bientôt. See you soon.